Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Nameless Fire Red Nuzlocke. So we did uh, manage to complete the uh, Team Rocket hideout as well as Lavender Tower in the last episode. I have returned to Celadon City because we now can of course take on this Snorlax. Now there is a patch of grass to the north of us where we can use that as an encounter for this route but I think that because uh, like if we wake up the Snorlax as the first thing on this route, we should be able to catch that. So I think that I'm going to go for that, hope that it works, and we'll try it that way. So we cannot paralyze the Snorlax with Froggit, um, because obviously he's normal type, so we can't lick him to get paralysis. Uh, maybe it'll be good for us to use Kayubi and burn him as the most effective... Uh, you know way of inflicting status. So I think that we'll do that um, Obviously the Snorlax is going to be able to rest and get rid of that But that might be the best way for us to try and catch him um, So I think that we're going to do that. So without further ado, let's head into this and hopefully catch the Snorlax yeah, So once you use the poker flute, yes Snorlax woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage Okay, so Kayubi, we are going to use Will-O-Wisp Snorlax was burnt use snore for some reason let's confuse it as well to reduce the risk of rest happening okay and it's going to hurt itself in its confusion as well and get hurt by its burn so we've got a few great balls so i think that we okay no so we can't catch it so i assume that that means that this is a like it doesn't count as our first encounter because it is a fixed encounter so we can't catch snorlax Okay, I mean, I don't think that we've been on Route 16 yet. Um, so we can't catch the Snorlax, so we're just going to kill it, unfortunately, by Snorlax. And there we go, so that is done. I'm actually going to just check back here if this was Route 16. No, this is Route 7. So yeah, so that's, that doesn't count as our encounter for the route. Um, okay, fair enough. Okay, so there is a Digger's Bee here. Yeah, so we've, we've done something in Route 16 before, must be. So yeah, we can't catch anything in here. So, okay, well, it is what it is. Um, let's do this double battle here. I believe this is going to be a double battle. Okay, so Grand Bull and Swablu. So we will just flamethrow this Grand Bull, I guess. Um, now let's just flamethrow the Swablu, and then we'll just use Aerial Ace on the Grand Bull. So Swablu is taken down. And then we'll just take out this Gramble as well. Okay, easy double battle. Okay, so a few apricorns here on these trees. Okay, and we are going to get the HM for fly, which is going to be great for, uh, for you know, traveling around and getting around to places. It's going to speed that up greatly. So I think it's going to make sense to give, um, to give our Staraptor fly. Okay, so DFA can learn fly. Um, I don't know what we're going to want to forget. Um, yeah, takedown is... The thing now is that this has as much power as takedown without the risk of missing or losing um, or losing health. So maybe we just forget takedown. Um, so this is going to be us heading onto Cycling Road to get to Saffron City, I believe. Um, so this is one of Professor Oak's aides. He wants to give us an amulet coin, but we have not caught enough kinds of Pokemon for that, unfortunately. The joys of a Nuzlocke. Okay, so we can head out onto the cycling route. These guys before had a lot of poison type Pokemon. So I'm going to try Clayton for the fact that he has Psychic. Um, we want to get this money, you know, if we can. Um, so yeah, we'll just use Earth Power. So I'm probably just going to skip over a lot of these battles. There's going to be quite a lot. And I think that we should basically just, you know, just, just sweep through them. So it's more for the money than anything because we're going to want the money, especially come the Elite Four. Oh, Electric. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to want to have money to spend to, to stock up on healing items and things. Okay, so that's those first few trainers done. Now, what I have found is that there is a patch of grass here. Um, so we can catch a Pokemon on this route. So I am actually going to just sort of drop through here, see what encounters we get, and hopefully it's something, uh, you know, fun or decent. Um, okay, so it is a Swablu. A nice little dragon type. I do prefer Mega Altaria a lot over regular standard Altaria. I think that it buffed the, the Pokemon to the point that it needed to be. But yeah, we can definitely try to catch this. So first we'll burn the Swablu. Um, it is going to try to do that back to us. And then we can confuse it as well. Alright, so let's throw a Great Ball at this thing and see if it's going to stay. Yep, there we go. So it is the Cotton Bird Pokemon. We'll call it Q-Tip, because why not? So, the cotton Pokemon, Q-Tip, joins the party. 
uh, well, not the party, it's going to go in the box. And whether it's actually going to have a space in the party or not, I don't really know. Because I don't know who we would really drop for him. Um, I think the party is pretty okay as it is. Uh, like, do we really need a dragon type at this point? Uh, maybe we do to take on other dragons. But I think that we're okay. There's no one that I really want to drop from the party just yet. So it's going to stay in the box for now. Okay, so this is pretty nice. So Venus wants to learn Leaf Storm. So I think that Venus is majority a physical attacker, but having a special attack might be nice, um, especially because we do have growth. Um, but again, I mean, I like having sleep powder. Do we just forget growth and then just throw Leaf Storm on this guy as a bit of a kamikaze attack? Maybe we do that. So let's pop Leaf Storm on here. Um, cool. So this guy's going to use Tauros next. We'll just extra sensory him. And there we go. Bye. All right, so we're at the end of the cycling road slope. So we are going to end up uh, heading to this little watchtower over here. Uh, what do you have to say? They're looking for Brakeson for a Quilladin. Uh, sorry, we don't have either one of those. We started with the base Gen 6 starter. Um, so yeah, so Route 18. Um, and that is going to lead us into Fuchsia City. Um, so there is a patch of grass here. I actually thought we were going to Saffron City, but okay, Fuchsia City will do. Okay, so before we do that patch of grass, I think I'm actually just going to heal up our Pokemon uh, real quick. And we will end this episode with a gym battle, I think. So we will take on the Fuchsia City gym in today's episode. Right, so let's do this patch of grass. I don't know what we're going to catch here. Again, probably running through here with Kayubi is going to be our better option. Ooh, okay, so a um, Again, not something that's going to probably make it into the team, but worth catching nevertheless. Okay, so a was caught. Cool, so with this thing becoming Mandibuzz, I mean, ours isn't necessarily going to become Mandibuzz, but I will just call it Buzzkill. Alright, so without further ado, we are going to be taking on the Fuchsia City Gym today. So with it being a Poison-type gym, I don't really know what our best options are going to be. I think that... Uh, we're gonna do well you know going in with Venus because he can't get poisoned and also Clayton with his psychic powers is gonna help us to get through the gym decently as well I think so I think that we will lead the party with Clayton he is level 50 but because he has um, extra sensory um, that should really help us out quite a bit so if we need to we can always leave the gym heal up our PP um, so yeah, so without further ado, let's head in and take on this Pokemon Gym. Okay, so Stunky, um, we'll just use Earth Power, get rid of that. Oh yeah, because he has Earth Power as well, that's going to help us against Poison too. So he's he's pretty, he's going to be pretty damn useful here. Um, so we'll just use Earth Power again, get rid of the Skun Tank, and we've defeated Juggler Nate. Okay, so Whirlipede. Um, we'll just use extra sensory again, super effective. Scolipede, we'll use extra sensory. Same thing with Stunky. Oh no, Stunky is part dark, isn't it? So yeah, Earth Power. Took unnecessary damage there. And then Skun Tank, we will use Earth Power again. Grow to level 51 and we defeat Juggler Kirk. Okay, so Gligar, um, we'll use extra sensory, I guess. Okay, so now Froggit wants to learn extra sensory. Could be useful, actually, maybe instead of Lick, uh, because Lick is able to paralyze, but its power is pretty low, and it is... Uh, yeah, so maybe we forget Lick, finally, and we'll use extra sensory. Uh, this is a way to make opponents flinch as well, which could be useful if we need it. So we'll forget Lick and learn Extra Sensory. Um, so we can actually then switch to Survive, or uh, to Froggit rather, and see how he deals with the Survivor. So yeah, Extra Sensory, super effective. Um, Nido King. Let's try this Extra Sensory again. There we go. So Froggit can actually run through the gym a bit as well. Um, so I mean, maybe we'll do that. Give Clayton a bit of a break and save up those Earth powers for when we really need them against you know Mons like Stunky. Um, then I've got to find my way through this gym with its damn invisible walls. Right, so Tamer Phil is going to send out his Croagunk. Uh, so we'll use Extra Sensory on that. Nido Queen will do the same thing, Extra Sensory. Um, Zangoose will just Water Pulse him. 
Cool, and Tamer Full has been defeated. Okay, Juggler Sean was sent out his Crow Gunk. Same story, extra sensory. Frog Gross level 50, Kayubi level 51. Or extra sensory this guy again. Juggler Sean has been defeated. And we should now, yeah, we have, are now able to make our way to Koga. So I want to heal up our Mons real quick. Um, I don't want to, it seems pointless to take the whole route back, um, you know, to, to heal them up. So I think that we should be okay. Maybe what we'll do is we will start the battle with Clayton. Um, so yeah, so let's do that. We'll start the battle with Clayton so that even if he starts with a dark poison type, we are still able to hit it with earth power, hopefully. And hopefully this battle goes well. So wish me luck, guys. Send me uh, positive vibes and let's hope that we take down Koga with no casualties. Let's do this. Fa ha ha ha. A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Koga is a really cool leader. Um, okay, so Scolipede. We will use extra sensory on this. We will take that out fairly easily. We do have the level advantage again. Uh, DFA wants to learn Brave Bird, finally. Um, so yeah, so maybe with us having Fly, um, we can actually then forget aerial ace and we'll learn brave bird because fly is a, a like a reliable flying type attack and it does do more damage than what uh than what aerial ace does okay so toxic croak we can use extra sensory it's going to be four times effective it's not going to really have an answer to that clayton wants to learn imprison what does imprison do prevent them from using any moves that we know no thank you um and then nido king hmm um, so Nita King, Poison, and Ground, so we can just use Extra Sensory against it. Should do a good amount of damage, yep, we're gonna Oko that too. Venus grows to level 50. Okay, so Amoongus, Grass and Poison type, so we can actually switch to Kayubi. And then we can Flamethrow this, and that should do a decent amount of damage. Amoongus is bulky, but Flamethrower should do a lot of damage. Yep, we're gonna Oko Amoongus. And then Skun Tank, we want to switch back to Clayton and use Earth Power on this thing. Uh, is it an Oko? Yes, it's an Oko. And then Weezing, we will stay in with Clayton and use Extra Sensory. And I think that that is a complete clean sweep of Koga. Yeah, take the Soul Badge and we've done it again, guys. The level advantage helps. <laughs> it always helps. Uh, so now that you have the Soul Badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. Take this too. BL Retro to receive TM09. Venoshock. So used in combination with other poison type moves. So Venoshock would be pretty nice. If we if we had Toxic on our Victory Bell, then that would be pretty nice to use. Um, I just want to check. Yeah, so Venoshock. The foe is soaked by special acid as power doubles if the foe is poisoned. So if we were able to get Toxic on our Victory Bell, then let me just remember my way out here. Um, then we would be able to there we go. Uh, yeah, we, we'd be able to use that pretty effectively. But until then, unfortunately, it's not really going to be worth putting on. I think it is more powerful than Acid, though. Um, so we can actually teach it to him in any case. Because it does do more damage than Acid does. And it is a special attack, yeah. So if we can learn a, uh, an attack that can poison people, that would be great. So that is basically the end of today's episode. I did think we were going to end up in Saffron City. I've got my roots confused, must be. Um, so we will get to Saffron City sometime soon. But we have now taken down our fifth gym. So that leaves us basically with, uh, with Saffron City. So Sabrina, um, as well as Blaine and who's next and giovanni as the remaining three gym leaders so thank you very much for watching today guys that's going to do it for today's episode um and yeah please if you did enjoy the video please like comment i love to hear back from you guys and of course subscribe if you are not subscribed yet i upload content every single day and i appreciate you guys watching so much so uh yeah stay safe please have an awesome day guys and thank you for watching and until the next time bye for now